I know I said that the last thing we do in iMovie is to add transitions, but actually one of the last things we do is to check the sound. So I want to show you how you can adjust the sound for individual clips. This is important when you've recorded a video and maybe you were outside or in a hallway and you weren't really close to the microphone. And it may be hard when we bring that video in to record. I'm actually going to show you with an example of Steiner Selections how this works. When I record Steiner Selections with Miss Steiner, we are not um, so close to each other. She's not right up in the microphone, and if you'll notice, she doesn't have a microphone that she's holding either. So when we import this into iMovie, Good morning, it's a little quiet. It's it kind is. of hard it's to hear. Money, so um, so what we want to do is go in and adjust the sound. And so for this clip, if I come underneath here, I have this yellow line running through the middle of the clip. And when I get the two arrows that look that are pointing up and down, I'm able to click, drag it up and down. And for this clip, I'm going to bring it up to 400%. Generally, I try to leave everything at 100%, which is where it is when it comes in. And what I do is as I play the movie, um, the show before I've finalize it and publish it. If I notice that there's a certain clip that's a little quieter than the rest, then I only turn the volume up on that one clip. We should not be adjusting the sound for every single clip, but only those videos that when we pull them in are a little quieter. Now I will say sometimes when we add music and um, if we add a sound effect in, sometimes the sound effect can be a little loud. So if I want to um, maybe add a sound effect um, just to have some background music to this Steiner Selections, when I pull this down here, I may notice that the music is way too loud and it makes it hard to hear um, the voice. So let's let's take a listen. So we can hear that Miss Steiner's talking, but the music is really overpowering her. I can't turn hers up any louder. That is up as high as it goes. But what I can do is I come down down here to my sound, and it's you see how it starts at 100%. I'm going to move that that down to about 28%, and then I'm going to give it another listen and see. It's not Monday, so I'm not going to say welcome to. So that's a little better. That was, uh, I was able to hear her and have that music in the background. I could turn it down a little bit more to 11%. And when we give a preview, Good morning, comments. that's actually it really nice. Not Monday, we have so that music in the sing. background. We are able to hear her. Um, and that was because we were adjusting the sound. When you're doing voiceovers, you will not need to adjust the sound. You're going to be sitting very close to the computer. It's going to be able to pick up your voice. You should not need to um, adjust the sound. Most everything will stay at 100%, but occasionally you'll have a sound effect that will be too loud and you need to turn it down, or you'll have a video clip that you've imported in that just won't quite be loud enough and you'll need to turn it up.